If I were to think about the best way to at least start integrating AI and machine learning into enterprise applications, you kind of start with the end. You have to figure out where is your return on investment? What is the problem that you're actually trying to solve? And if, after all that time that you spend, you're actually gonna reap the benefits. A simple example, if you have three customers and you provide a product to them and you're wanting to know, you know, probabilistically, when are they gonna to need to reorder? There's only three customers. You probably don't have enough to really warrant the fact that you would spend all this time and all this money generating a massive machine learned trained model. But if you have 30 customers, if you have 3000 customers, that's where the ROI really comes into place. And large organizations, the type of businesses that we work with, data really is their most valuable intellectual property. It's the thing that cybersecurity professionals make sure that they protect. It's the thing that you know criminals often go after. And so the more data that a company has on its customers, on their purchasing habits, big data kind of being the term that was thrown around maybe five, six years ago, the cleaner the data is, the better labeled the data is, the more accessible and more normalized that data is, that's gonna just make it easier to train one of these machine learning models. Now there's a lot of options that someone has in order to integrate these things. You can go off the shelf. Microsoft, Azure, GCP, I mean, I, all these platforms already have chatbots. That's probably one of the most common things that I get asked for is, you know, how do I integrate a chatbot into an application? Mileage may vary on some of those chatbots, but it's, it's a good place to start. It's a good place to think about it. Where most people typically end up going if they don't go the generative AI route is either regression or classification. You know, trying to predict trends over time or trying to classify either a, a dog or a cat for an image as an example. It's difficult to find really good use cases in enterprise applications because honestly, if, if it was so easy, they would have already solved it. So you always kind of have to thread the needle between what is the benefit of this product, all the time, all the effort, all the, the blood, sweat, and tears that it's gonna take to actually train one of these machine learning models. And as long as you're able to kind of see into the future to figure out, is this something that is actually going to be used by customers? Is this going to be used by internal resources? Are they actually gonna benefit from it? That sort of underpins pretty much everything in terms of whether or not you should integrate machine learning and AI into your enterprise applications. Kind of knowing the forecast for how long it's going to take for these machine learned trained models to actually bear fruits, that is something that most people don't really appreciate when they get into this. So you have to have just very frank, very open, very honest conversations saying, hey, this is something new. This is something that everyone is talking about. Everyone honestly has a little bit of FOMO, which is okay, this is a very natural human response, but you have to be crystal clear when you're talking with VPs, executives, with CEOs saying, it's going to take us a substantial amount of time, but this is going to be the reward. It's an Amazon term, it's starting, uh, starting at the end in mind, I think is what they call it, to where they actually prepare like a press release when they're looking at, you know, what products they could build because they're imagining, you know, something you can hold in your hand saying, this is how much revenue our company is going to make. This is how much it costs to be able to develop it. As long as you can justify it and it seems reasonable and you can clearly see what the benefits are going to be, have to be open, have to be honest about it, but it's a that is the best place to start more than thinking about tools, more than thinking about policies and governance. You have to start with the end in mind because this is such a substantial investment that companies are making.